It was obvious when I saw him on the interview with Gilbert Arenas, he was going to struggle. His head is not on right, he thinks he's better than he is. The biggest difference between his early highlights and the ones recently, he's clearly 20-30 pounds overweight. If he was in shape, I think he'd be noticeably better. Like, there's nothing really there. However, a day ago, I saw this and I was like, okay, we got some answers. Many, many, many years ago, there was a 7 foot 6, 322 pound point guard shooting small forward center that was terrorizing middle schoolers everywhere. How was this 7 foot 6 beast even playing in middle school? I don't know, but it was happening. He had a 40 inch vertical, he could shoot the ball well, he had great handles, he could do a little bit of everything. Why was he so good and why was it so unfair at the time? Because it's simple, he was the only guy that was driving the middle school games. Some people would say he was about as close as it gets to being a mythological creature. He had a 62 inch vertical in middle school and he dropped 55 points on Julian Newman. He was bullying the basketball landscape. He was also regarded and ranked as the normal employer on every recruiting website and it wasn't even close. Some of you watching this video, you may have heard of this guy and others, you may remember him, but now he's nowhere to be found. It's almost like when the world needed him the most, he vanished. Even though nobody knows where he's at or what's currently going on in his career at the moment, there's one thing for sure, he's a hoop mixtape legend. Ladies and gentlemen, he goes by the name of Kyrie Walker. No, I'm just playing. Did I hype that up? Well, he does go by Kyrie Walker, but that whole little intro, that was a complete joke and it's satire. You don't gotta be a rocket scientist to figure out, we're about to talk about Mr. Kyrie. No intro needed, or I really did the intro, but most of you know this guy and you know his backstory. I don't wanna bore you with all that. Just what I think is boring information. He was the number one player in middle school. He was the number one player all the way up until his 10th or 11th grade year, and he fell off. And I mean that in the most respectful way, because me and Kyrie, I wouldn't say we're best friends, but we have talked here and there, and I do respect the guy. He's got a really weird situation, and for the OGs of the channel, you know, we've been keeping up with this guy for at least, what, two or three years now? But I gotta be honest, and I don't mean this as disrespect, I low-key forgot this guy existed. I haven't even heard the name Kyrie Walker or anybody mention him in at least 9 to 10 months. No need to drag this intro out. We're going to do a lot of research and a lot of digging. And one thing I'm going to spoil for you right now is he's not even playing in the summer league for what he said is quote-unquote personal reasons. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about later in this video. And I'm going to let you know right now, it is really, and I mean really interesting. I'm super excited to get into this video. I hope you guys are as well. On one of the previous videos, I said let's see how many new subscribers we can gain. And I'll tell you in the next one. And we gained over 500. 500 freaking subscribers off of one video. That's so awesome. And I really appreciate all the new subs. Most of y'all know this. We're on the road to 300k. And guess what? There is so many of you right now watching the video and you're not subscribed. If you do like content like this, why not subscribe? It's free. It helps us out tremendously. And it doesn't hurt you whatsoever. We can't get to 300k without your help. And however many new subscribers we gain from this video. Video, of course, I'll tell you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's going to be a good one. Get you a snack, get you some popcorn, get you a drink. And now without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, shout out to my man Keon. He sent me this message on Instagram and it's the main reason, well really, the only reason we're making this video. He said, yo Matt, I haven't heard anything about Kyrie Walker. Whenever I saw that message, I said, oh snap. Wait a minute, I haven't heard anything about this guy either. And if you've been watching the previous videos, we did one where it's called Where is Julian Newman? We also did one on Where is Zaire Wade and Where is Jaden Newman? And I know it seems like and it comes off as we're trying to make this a video series on the channel, but I'm really not. I'm just genuinely curious, where are these people? And it also seems like you guys, you're curious as well. So I do want to clarify that. It's not a video series. It just is what it is. Anyways, Matt, shut the crap up. Get back on topic with the main focal point of this video, Mr. Kyrie. Where the heck is this guy? Last time I personally heard anything about him, he was in the G League. And that was about around the same time last year when the NBA season was starting and the G League was starting. However, ever since then, this guy has completely fallen off the radar because, come on now, let's just be real, who keeps up with the G League? If you keep up with the G League, I honestly think you either A, got to know a player in the G League, or B, you're just psychotic. Before we go any farther, let me clarify this because we do have new people coming to the channel every single day. What we're about to get into isn't me knowing this stuff. This is going to be my live reaction. I'm doing the research in real time. So it's not like I knew this stuff beforehand and made the video. You get my live reaction. Here's what I'm talking about when I say Kyrie has completely thrown off the face of the earth, at least compared to where he once was in his career. If you just do the random Kyrie Walker Google search and you go to the news category, normally for any other player or person, there's going to be brand new articles within the past first week second week third week or fourth week but no the last article 
or any articles written about him was in 2021. That was over a year ago. All of those articles, and I'll show you right here, they're just saying how he signed to the Wizards and he was going to play in their Summer League and also for the G League. I knew that though. I just wanted to give some of you a perspective. The next place we like to go is Twitter because yes, Twitter is a bunch of trolls and jokes, but you can find out some real legit information there. And of course, just like I said, I'm not the only one curious about this. You can see right here, this was a day ago. What happened to Kyrie Walker? Bruh, under that, I was just thinking this. A few days ago, and I think it was July 9th, Kyrie Walker was playing in the Drew League and he had 24 points and 11 rebounds. So okay, okay, not too bad, but it's the Drew League. That's nothing too serious. Now, if you go to Kyrie's Twitter himself, and I like to do this because you can see some hints and find out more stuff, he hasn't posted really anything in the past year that holds any value towards his basketball career. Like, there's nothing really there. However, a day ago, I saw this and I was like, okay, we got some answers. On July 13th, to be exact, at 4.51 p.m., depending on where you live, he posted a couple of pictures. In the reply, somebody said, why don't you play in the Summer League? And he replied and said, personal reasons. Hmm, okay, okay, we're finding out some stuff. Personal reasons. Although, yes, it is vague, it still gives us some more information that we didn't before this video. Let's take a trip over to his Instagram though. I would say he's pretty famous. He's got about 550,000 followers. That's not too shabby if I had to say so myself, but let's go down to a couple pictures starting with this one right here from November 20th in 2021. There's no reason I picked on this one. It's a random one, but going up from there, he hasn't posted too much. After that picture, he did post this one on December 27th in 2021. Then dark times hit me hard. Had to understand you can't always have sunshine. I went through every emotion with trying to pursue what I'm doing. Everything is personal. Stay down till I come up. Trust me coming up. Love the game. Love the hustle. Yeah, it's safe to say you can tell that message. It's definitely personal. And after that picture, he's only posted two more. And then recently posted this video clip on June 13th, which is just him working out. I do got to say this about Kyrie. I've always thought he's had great size and he's most definitely an NBA talent. Like if you think he isn't an NBA talent, I just don't know what to tell you. You don't know basketball. Like, come on now, my man is about six foot six, six foot seven, and he can't coach size, and he has size. Not only does he have size, but we know this, he's athletic. I also believe he has a better three-point shot than what people try to give him credit for. Ultimately, though, the main reason he isn't in the NBA, and I know he doesn't want to hear this, but it's the cold hard truth, he didn't follow the right path. When he was the number one player in high school basketball, he elected to skip his senior year, and there was some family stuff going on, but I don't think you should have done that. So right then and there, that's one year where you're not playing. And if you're not playing, guess what? People are going to catch up to you and they're going to pass you. And that is exactly what happened. And he dropped from the number one player in the country to a four-star recruit. That was an insane drop. And then, well, 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 what do you know? He elects to not go to college and he did one of those training things. He didn't even go to the G League at night. He signed to his own private whatever. I don't even know what it was called. I'm not even going to look it up because it doesn't matter, but he joined some training league that was supposed to get him ready for the NBA. He wound up signing and he got a good contract with him, but I think he took the short-term money over the long-term money. I've said this before on the channel with all these guys that choose to go to the G League so they can get immediate money. Yeah, maybe fast money, but in the long term, is it worth falling in the NBA draft? Me personally, I don't think so. But guess what? That is why I'm so happy the name, image, and likeness is out now. Because those guys that would have gone to the G League, they can go to college and get paid. And we all know the best route to the NBA is most definitely going to college, not to the G League or overseas. I've already explained why it's the best option on this channel, and I'm not going to do it again. Let's say for the sake of this video, Kyrie doesn't skip his senior year. He plays and balls out. And let's say he goes to college. He's a one and done and balls out. I think more than likely, he's a first round or lottery pick. I've always believed that and I always will. And I think if you don't believe that, you're an idiot. The truth of the matter is though, that didn't happen. And not only did it cost him a chance at playing in the NBA, but it also cost him millions, and I mean millions of dollars. Moving on to this, I went to a YouTube comment section on him from a video about four months ago, and somebody commented this. The one thing you didn't mention is he's noticeably out of shape. The biggest difference between his early highlights and the ones recently, he's clearly 20, 30 pounds overweight. If he was in shape, I think he'd be noticeably better. Yes, I agree. He looks way bigger now than when he did in middle school or high school, but... That's the case for any normal human being. Come on now. I think saying he is quote unquote out of shape, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Now, is he at perfect shape? I don't know. I'm not around him every day, but I know he's not out of shape. Scrolling on down, I found this comment and it intrigued me. It was obvious when I saw him on the interview with Gilbert Arenas, he was going to struggle. His head is not on right. He thinks he's better than he is. That comment got 36 likes. I didn't see the interview with Arenas, not too sure what he's referring to. 
but I guess he's right because people do agree with him. Last but not least, let's end the video off here. In the G League last year, in 23 games played, he averaged 8.6 points per game, 2.7 rebounds, and 1 assist. From the overall field, I'd say he had pretty solid shooting numbers, shot 53.5% and 36% by on the arc. That's solid. That's all it is though, it's solid. It's not great, it doesn't wow you, it doesn't amaze you. The one part about this video that intrigues me the most is definitely as to why he's not even playing in the summer league and he labeled it as personal reasons. It can't be basketball related though because he's playing in the Drew League so he's okay physically. If you know anything about that, please fill us in in the comment section down below but I feel like a lot of people, you're like me, you're in the dark. We don't know what's going on. If I had to assume anything, I'm gonna say that it's something to do with the Wizards organization. Maybe they're not getting along too well. Maybe he's bumping heads. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense, and it's not even a smart business decision because if you theoretically want to get to the NBA, you should be playing in the Summer League. I don't know, man. That is definitely strange. I am curious. Let me know your thoughts on everything we talked about down below. But, uh, what up,